All right, well, we still haven't done any accuracy tests, so really quick before we go, let's try to hit steel at 100 yards with a slingshot. <laughs> this is probably gonna take a while. <laughs> Literally first try. I'll take it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. So this is mainly a firearms channel. That's probably 95% of the videos we do. But as you all know, we will test any and everything that could possibly be used for hunting, self-defense, essentially anything that launches projectiles, which is probably not great for views now that I think about it because a large chunk of you guys are only here for guns. But oh well, I love making these videos. So we've done blow guns, nail guns, BB guns. We just did a really cool flare gun video last week. If you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. It is absolutely incredible. But today, we have another outside the box self-defense test, the slingshot. Yes, this crazy looking thing is a slingshot. Now, like most hunting and self-defense tools, there are different levels of wrist rockets and slingshots. And I just looked for the most powerful one I could find. And this is what I went with, mainly because it looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. So this is the hand beige compound slingshot. And I actually saw a bunch that looked almost identical to this with just different brand names on them. So I assume they're all the same Chinese made slingshot and then people just slap their sticker on it. But I wanna show you guys how this thing works because it's actually kind of unique. So you can see it has springs on it with arms attached to them. And when you pull the band back, it retracts those arms and it's supposed to give your projectile more velocity. It also has a flashlight mount down there on the bottom. And you can see we've got Chinese markings right there on top. Now, whether it's a gimmick or those springs actually will give us more velocity, I guess we'll find out here in just a second, but it does feel relatively well made and I paid 75 bucks for it, which is not cheap for a wrist rocket like this. So let's try this crazy looking compound slingshot and see how well it actually works. First target for the day is a half inch piece of drywall. This stuff's not too hard, not too soft, and I wanna see if the slingshot is powerful enough to blow all the way through. Look at that, fits like a glove. And this is the ammo we're using. It is 3 8 inch diameter steel balls. So they could be effective if we can get enough velocity on them. Let's see if we can get through this drywall. Okay, that one did not go through, but I didn't pull it back very far. Let's try it again. Same thing. I feel like we could get through it though, if I can just get a little more velocity. There we go. <laughs> Straight through it. At close range, it seems to be pretty accurate. Man. <laughs> That is pretty powerful. <laughs> so I'm obviously very close to the target, but I had one that just barely missed and went over the top and it looked like it was screaming fast. Definitely faster than any other slingshot I've ever tried. But you can see we had three or four of them blow right through. The first two, I wasn't pulling it back very far. And then on the others, it just went straight through that drywall no problem at all and then on the back you can see we've obviously got some holes so there you have it do not shoot this slingshot inside your house it will blow straight through the wall so one thing i don't like about slingshots and wrist rockets is your fingers start to fatigue the more you shoot it and it becomes harder and harder to pull it back all the way especially with these really tight bands but i wanted to show you guys the sights on this thing because they're actually kind of cool so that metal piece that has a hole in it actually folds inward when you pull it back. And I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but there are three tiny little pegs inside that hole. And if you put your target right in the middle of it, it does kind of go in that direction. I won't say it's super precise, but it helps morons like me to actually hit the target. For our next target, let's try a one gallon water jug. I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of concerned about this one bouncing back at us, but that's never stopped me before. So let's go for it. Nice. <laughs> Straight through it. And it looks like it hit right there towards the left. You can see the hole and you probably won't be able to see. Well, 
that's a problem. And you probably can't see it, but our metal ball is on the bottom of that water jug. So it did go all the way through. So if I remember correctly, the last video that we did on a slingshot, and that was just like a cheap Walmart daisy or something, but it was bouncing off targets a lot more. Whereas this is actually blowing straight through. And it's really when I miss that you can see just how fast these pellets are going because at close range, they're going too fast to see. So it is noticeably more powerful, like by a lot. Moving on. And next up, we're gonna try a sparkling water. So the last one was plastic, this is metal. It's also carbonated, so it should explode a little bit better. Let's do it. Another thing that's really cool about this slingshot is it actually has little mounting spots on the top where you could put like a whisker biscuit and use it to shoot arrows, which is something I've never done with a slingshot before. So if that's something you would like to see, let me know, and maybe we'll do it in a future video. There we go. <laughs> easily went through it. All right, it went in right there. It completely split this can in half and then it came out the other side, which does kind of surprise me. I did not expect it to blow all the way through. I've had BB guns that won't even do that. So let's line up several and see how many of these cans our slingshot can actually get through. All right, we scooted up a little bit and I have six cans lined up on the table. It is very unlikely that this thing is just gonna go straight through. So I put a couple on the sides as well in case this thing decides to turn on us. And hopefully it doesn't take me a hundred tries. Put your guesses in the comments. I think it'll probably stop in the third pop can. That's my guess. Whew. I'm soaked. <laughs> All right, so our first two cans fell off the table. It's kind of hard to tell what's the entrance hole and what's the exit hole. I would say that's probably the entrance and then the smaller one is the exit hole. And the first two cans are just jacked up. And then our third one, is right here and you can see there's no exit hole you can also hear the metal ball in there so it went through three which is very impressive but now we have a bunch of leftovers so let's shoot them Whew, right to the face dang All right guys, before we move on to our human head, we have to try a watermelon because I wanna see if this slingshot can make it all the way through this thing. That would be impressive. Still using the big pellets and I'm gonna go ahead and say no. I do not think it will go all the way through. Watermelons are pretty dense, so let's see. Straight through. Okay, well, I was wrong. It sounded like it didn't even slow it down, but we did hit a little bit high, so let's try it again and see if we can hit the fattest part of the watermelon. Going for the middle. Yeah, it's going straight through. You can see both of those entrance holes. The first one was a little bit high. The second one was right in the middle, and if I go around to the back, you can see they both easily came through. Sounded like it didn't even slow him down. All right guys, now it's time for the one that I am most excited about and probably the most important test of the entire video, the self-defense test on a ballistic dummy lab human head. Now this one has been used. It's actually the same head that we shot with the flare gun in last week's video. And as you can see, he had a pretty rough day. I do have a brand new head right over there, but since this won't be the most intense impact, I would rather save that one for something more dramatic like a firearm. Plus, this entire side is completely untouched and still in perfect condition. So we'll start with this one, and then if we need to, we'll get out the other one. So could a slingshot penetrate a human head and possibly be used for self-defense? Let's find out. Okay, I've got him on the table with the good side facing us, obviously, and a cinder block behind him so he can't move when the slingshot hits him, so. Let's see what kind of damage we get. Okay, wow, so that definitely went in. I'll show it to you here in a second, but I wanna try it again because that one missed the skull, so. All right, let's try one of the smaller pellets and see what this does. Maybe it'll have more velocity. Whoa. And 
one more big one. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Okay, so we have quite a bit to look at here. That one on top is the small pellet that we shot, which we'll get to here in a minute. But the first one went in right there by the temple, and you can actually see the entrance hole right there. That tiny little dent is where it went in. And then if you look closely, probably two or three inches into the ballistics gel, you can see where that pellet stopped right on the bone. So that penetrated, you know, two to three inches at least of ballistics gel before it came to a stop. Now the second and the third ones both went straight through the bone and inside that head. You can see them right there and right there and both of those penetrated no problem, which is actually kind of surprising. Now I've had people in the comments question the legitimacy of using these heads for self-defense tests because we don't really know how realistic they are. But from everything I've seen, they appear to be very realistic. Like for instance, 22s, 380s, the small handgun calibers all stop inside of these heads. They don't just blow right through. So I actually think they are pretty realistic. And again, those two pellets went straight through that skull and into the head. Now the small one did not, it did stop pretty close to the surface, which is what you would expect. It's lighter weight, it's gonna be easier to stop. But these two over here, or these three I should say, I think actually would work for self-defense. And even if it didn't penetrate through the bone or all the way to the brain, it would still suck so bad to get hit with one of those that it would probably stop a bad guy from doing what they're doing, which is the ultimate goal in self-defense. The main problem with slingshots, at least for me, is I suck with them and I would not be nearly accurate enough to depend on that. But hunting or self-defense, if you're really good with them, I would say that could absolutely get the job done. Wow. All right guys, there you have it, the hand beige compound slingshot. As I said earlier, if you found this channel looking for slingshots, this is not typically what we do. Uh, we are mainly a gun channel, but I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around for the gun videos because those are a lot of fun as well. But basically, anything that launches a projectile, I'm willing to try at least once, and this thing definitely impressed me. Now, it might be a piece of junk and fall apart in two days, I guess we'll find out, but it's the performance that really surprised me, and this thing is very powerful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. I'd be glad to hear from you guys as always. If you like the video, please let me know down there as well and hit that like button for me guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.